Hi, my name is Brody Stanfield. I'm a co-CEO and founder of IFTEC Invent and Future Technology Inc. The purpose of this video is to provide a quick overview of the AIRIG Software Development Kit Visualization Tool and how it works. Overall, the purpose of the visualization tool is to allow developers a visual way of debugging the integration of the AIRIG SDK. In doing so, a developer who may or may not be wearing the AIRIG at the time of use can easily see which sensory feedback devices are activated. It can also be very beneficial during presentations or demonstrations where it is not feasible to have everyone try AIRIG at the presentation or during the demonstration. So to begin, using the AIRIG visualization tool, you must select the Initialize menu. There are two options available in the Initialize menu, Live Stream and Load from File. Live Stream's purpose is to use the AIRIG visualization tool in parallel with another program that is using the AIRIG SDK. The visualization tool will then continuously check for new sensory feedback activations and store those with any that have already been received. What this does is allow you to use another program with the AIRIG SDK and in real time visually see what sensory feedback devices have been activated. Load from file, on the other hand, is meant for use after a program has already been used with the AIRIG SDK. It does a one-time check for all sensory feedback activations that have occurred and then stores those to be visually displayed through the visualization tool. Upon selecting one of the two options, the other display and tools menus will be available for use. The display menu provides you with direct access to show or hide the placement of the various vibratory and stim sensor, sensory feedback devices and their activations. As the sensory feedback activations are the main purpose of the visualization tool, these are already activated. But by deactivating either one or both, will hide all the sensory feedback activations of that type. This can be very helpful when you just want to view one or the other specifically. As for the activations of different devices, uh, this will display the placement of each device, whether or not it is activated or inactive. So vibration, stims. The tools menu provides very similar basic features to any other multimedia player software. There are three main sets of tools here. The usual restart, rewind, pause, and play buttons the manual select minutes, seconds, and milliseconds inputs, and the slider control. The purpose of the restart, rewind, pause, and play buttons are for simple use in viewing. As for the slider control, it is meant to provide an easy way to go through the total lapse time from the first sensory feedback activation to the last sensory feedback activation. And I would also just like to demonstrate the rewind button's purpose in the visualization tool. Overall, the rewind button, it provides you with the ability to see what it would look like if the sensor feed, sensory feedback activations were reversed. We think it provides some interesting results that we did not want to leave out. Whereas the input boxes for time are meant to be used when you want to be very specific, usually for debugging purposes and to provide you with a visual display of the lapse time. So overall, that sums up the AIRIG visualization tool and what it provides, an easy visual tool to debug and demonstrate what is occurring with the use of the AIRIG SDK and your program. If you have any questions, please contact us directly, and thank you for your time.